Oh, hi, hi. Hi, what you doing? Just, just working in, in Unity. Oh. Just, that's all I'm doing. It's, oh, shoot. Oh, oh, shoot. God. Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. So we've made the big decision. We're switching to Unreal. <clears throat> so we're gonna break down in this video why we're switching from Unity to Unreal, even though we've been in Unity for the past 10 plus years. So we've been using Unity since Unity 3, which we, we, we looked it up and that was, I think in 2011. Yeah. So it's been over 10 years. And during that time, uh, we released uh, our first game, The Pedestrian, and we released it on PC and consoles. Um, and we've really, over the past 10 years, we have built up not only knowledge of game design in general, but also of the Unity engine and all of its quirks and intricacies and everything. The primary reason why we're switching from Unity to Unreal really is that Unity is going in the direction of more like mobile or casual games and Unreal is going in the direction of more premium um, kind of traditional games and they're, they're both kind of dedicating resources to those aspects and our new game really fits within Unreal's direction a lot better. Really, now is the best time to switch because this is the start of a brand new project for us. And if we were to, say, in a year or two, switch to Unreal, it'd be a, it'd be a much bigger headache than right now. We've been thinking about this for a long time now, um, considering switching to Unreal. And we thought we'd go over with you guys the pros and cons that we've kind of put together, allowing us to make the final decision that we think Unreal is best fit for our project. So some of the pros of switching to Unreal, and we really would love your feedback on this if you've used Unreal extensively. Um, but to start with, we really think that Unreal is focusing on you know, high-end PC and console games, which is really big for us because we are not a mobile game. We don't use microtransactions. Um, that, that, that really isn't our focus. And this is really um, illustrated by uh, Unreal's dedication to these new features that they've been making, which is Nanite, their new lighting system, Lumen, and uh, World Partition. Those three things for us are huge because this new game will really benefit from those three things. Some of the kind of side benefits of Unreal that we've just been discovering as we've been starting to get into it is uh, Unreal is actually open source, which I didn't realize. That right there, I don't know if we'll ever need it, but if in the future we want something really specific, um, we could totally download Unreal's source code, modify a few things, and recompile the editor. Another thing is, since we've been getting into Unreal a lot more, there's a lot of data visualization, which is just crazy. There's so many tools that Unreal has made that you can use to visualize your game in production. Which we were actually talking about as we've been dabbling with Unreal for a little bit, that it's so obvious that Unreal has been made by people that use it. It's like the people that are making the engine are also the people that are making a game. Which is huge when you think about the applications that are necessary when you're actually making a game versus what you think users need. So the first con for Unreal is just the sheer complexity of the program, which is actually kind of a pro and a con because there's just so much to learn and so much to do, it can be a little bit overwhelming. In that same vein is the next con, which is the clunkiness of the program, which maybe that's just an amateur talking, but I'm noticing how much more time it takes to do a simple task inside of Unreal versus inside of Unity, just to compile shaders or to um, even boot up the program. It's just such a heavy piece of software. If you've used Unreal extensively, let us know what are the cons of Unreal? Because we don't really know. We barely used Unreal. Uh, we've only been doing it for like a month. And we would love to know what are the issues that you've ran into in Unreal. That way it'll better help us uh, when we're transitioning to Unreal. Okay, so the pros for Unity, and these are more um, geared towards us specifically, but the first point is the existing knowledge of Unity. Uh, 
like we said, we've ha we have 10 plus years being in Unity. It's just like riding a bike at this point. The other really great thing about Unity um, is the community support. Um, it's just staggering how many people have asked questions online about various things in Unity. So that just means that whenever you have a problem in Unity, it's just that much faster to solve your problem because you can just do a quick search and there's 10 people who have had the same problem and there's a solution to be able to fix a problem. So that's really a big thing with Unity. So from our experience thus far with working in Unreal, Unity seems to be a lot lighter weight. Uh, it seems that there's the path to do something is just usually quicker and then the program as a whole just feels a lot more responsive to click on stuff to create assets to compile things yeah um, for example i'm definitely going to need to get a better graphics card if i'm going to be using unreal unity boots up and runs like a charm on like a crummy little laptop most of the time one of the biggest pain points and the most talked about issues with unity is that they keep just pooping out more features and then uh, they drop it because all they wanted to do was make okay. a cool YouTube video. Okay. And get more users. They like the, the flashy new thing and then they kind of just like fade it out without ever fixing it or finishing it. So a really good example of that is lighting. When we were working on the pedestrian, we had light mapping um, and that was a big issue. Um, the built-in Unity light mapping from my knowledge, really has never worked. It has worked, but it was so slow that it practically didn't work. Um, and so Unity has such a great ecosystem for assets. This is kind of a con and a pro because we were thankfully able to remedy that with an asset store light mapper called Bakery. But at the same time, that's just an example of one thing that wasn't working in Unity that was solved, but there's lots of other things like that, other features that kind of half work or they work with some caveats. Yeah, we've had to experience this and, and almost every other person that's released a game in Unity, you discover that if you want to make a finished game and ship it, you're gonna have to hold it together with a lot of spit and chewing gum because Unity doesn't have all of the necessary features to actually have a quality finished product. So we're not here to rag on Unity. We think, obviously, we, we love Unity. They've served us really well. There's still potential for Unity. Who knows where they're gonna go in the future. But for our needs specifically for this next project, we see that Unreal is a little bit more well fit. So thanks, Tim Sweeney. So thanks for watching. Um, this is really a big decision for us. We've spent a lot of time thinking about this. And like I said earlier, we really would love uh, feedback from you all because we don't know everything, especially when it comes to Unreal. So please leave some comments down below of your pros and cons of Unreal specifically. Yeah. Thank well, you. thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.